Our original video about this interstellar object was flagged when we mentioned a political figure who petitioned NASA to investigate it. To keep the focus where it belongs, on the science and the mystery, we've remixed this version. Names and images of political figures have been removed so that you can still explore this fascinating story with us. On July 1st, 2025, a new interstellar object was discovered. It goes by 3i Atlas. And our friend Dr. Avi Loeb is all over it. Is it just an interstellar comet visitor? Or is it interstellar technology heading towards Earth and ready to wreak havoc? Dr. Loeb has been on All Things Unexplained several times, and you can find links to those full videos in the show description. Shout out to a friend of mine at Triangle United Soccer who asked me at my son's soccer match this weekend, hey, have you talked about 3i Atlas yet? I said, nope, but that's a great idea. And now it's time for All Things Unexplained. I am here to discuss the so-called flying saucers. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's. Did the CIA write Wind of Change by the Scorpions? <laughs> <laughs> As humans busied themselves about the various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied. Dr. Loeb, what percentage chance do you give it that you have indeed uncovered extraterrestrial or non-human technology? With infinite complacence, people went about their affairs, yet across an immense ethereal gulf, intellects vast and unsympathetic drew their plans against us. All of a sudden, a stick out of nowhere landed right in front of us, and there was no tree, nothing overhead, something threw it at us. Yeah, what's your hot take on Travis Taylor? <laughs> I've got an exclusive for you guys if you okay. want it about yeah, the Alaska. We do. Okay, okay. Dr. Taylor was revealed to be the chief scientist of the UAP task force with the Pentagon. All things unexplained. So some of that I think there will say for close session. All right, unexplained ones, welcome back to All Things Unexplained where we separate the signal from the noise and sometimes the stars from the spacecraft. I'm your host, Dr. Mounts, and today we're diving into one of the most fascinating and possibly historic cosmic events unfolding right now, the mystery of 3i Atlas, a newly discovered interstellar object that may not be what it seems. What is 3i Atlas? So what is 3i Atlas? This is only the third confirmed interstellar object to enter our solar system, hence the name 3i. Discovered by the Atlas Telescope in early 2024, 3i Atlas is moving fast, faster than any object bound to our sun and it entered from interstellar space. That alone makes it rare, but things got even stranger. The anomalies of 3i Atlas, why it's not just a comet. The Hubble imagery revealed something no one expected. 3i Atlas has a bright glow facing the sun, but no comet-like tail pointing away from it. And that's weird. If it were a comet, we'd expect sunlight to evaporate water or gas and create a tail. But multiple studies, including Avi Loeb's, show no clear evidence of water vapor. And get this, the glow is on the sun-facing side, almost like it's producing light instead of just reflecting it. As Avi Loeb put it, does 3i Atlas generate its own light? If it does, we're not dealing with your average cosmic snowball. Could this be alien technology? Avi Loeb is the head of the Galileo Project, 
founding director of Harvard University's Black Hole Initiative, director of the Institute for Theory and Computation at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, and the former chair of the Astronomy Department at Harvard. He is a former member of the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology and a former chair of the Board on Physics and Astronomy of the National Academies. He is the best-selling author of Extraterrestrial, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth, and a co-author of the textbook Life in the Cosmos, both published in 2021. The paperback edition of his new book, titled Interstellar, was published in August 2024. Avi Loeb is no stranger to controversy. He has openly asked the question, what if this is an artifact? What if we're looking at alien technology, not just rock? He compares it to a Turing test for humanity. Would we even recognize a non-natural object if it passed by? Some clues that fuel this speculation. One, its glow pattern is unnatural. Two, it's small but surprisingly reflective. Three, it shares characteristics with Oumuamua, another interstellar object that Avi Loeb famously argued might be technology. But perhaps most intriguing is the lack of a tail despite activity and the idea that it might even be maneuvering. What happens next? There's a chance, albeit small, that NASA's Juno spacecraft could intercept or observe 3 i Atlas as it passes near Jupiter. And the U.S. government is watching too. Congresswoman sent a formal letter to NASA urging serious attention to this object and asking if it poses national security risk. Avi Loeb and his Galileo project are also analyzing telescope data and calling for continued monitoring. The clock is ticking. Final thoughts and a call to action. So what if it is artificial? Should we try to communicate with it? Or as Avi Loeb provocatively asked, what should humanity do the day after an object is recognized as technological? We might be on the brink of that moment, or we might just be staring at a weird rock. Either way, this is a cosmic mystery worth paying attention to, and one more reason why we do what we do here at All Things Unexplained. If you enjoyed this deep space dive, please follow, share, and tag us on social media. The link to Avi Loeb's full article list is in the show notes. And until next time, keep your eyes on the sky and your mind open. I'm Dr. Mounts. This has been All Things Unexplained. I am here to discuss the so-called flying saucers. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's. Did the CIA write Wind of Change by the Scorpions? <laughs> <laughs> As humans busied themselves about the various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied. Dr. Loeb, what percentage chance do you give it that you have indeed uncovered extraterrestrial or non-human technology? With infinite complacence, people went about their affairs, yet across an immense ethereal gulf, intellects vast and unsympathetic through their plans against us. All of a sudden, a stick out of nowhere landed right in front of us, and there was no tree, nothing overhead, something threw it at us. Yeah. What's your hot take on Travis Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> I've got an exclusive for you guys if you okay. wanted about yeah, the Alaska. Absolutely. We do. Okay, okay. Dr. Taylor was revealed to be the chief scientist of the UAP task force with the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. All things unexplained. So some of that I think there will say for close session. Mm -hmm.